YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Will, back in the building with another video. Welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Dap your boy up, you already know. If this is your first time here and you enjoy content like this, maybe consider hitting subscribe. Today, I got two Fifine microphones. The Fifine K651 versus the Fifine A6T. These are good budget microphones because they both fit into that $55 to $65 range. They have good quality from what I hear. I paid for these myself. Instead of doing separate reviews, I figured that I would review both of them in this video and then also compare both of them to hopefully give you guys a better idea of which one is going to be the best one for you so these microphones are going to be good for streamers for podcasting doing voiceover work for like TikToks or youtube videos they both are plug and play options when it comes to microphones so you don't have to install any additional drivers or have a need for a usb interface and of course they both have rgb colors which we love here right because i know i love me some rgb we're going to do a quick unboxing we're going to start with the k651 Let's go. Inside the box, you're gonna get your dynamic Fifine microphone. You get a desktop boom arm. You get a desk clamp, USB-C to USB-A cable for the microphone. You get another for the shock mount. You also get a shock mount in the user manual. Now let's do a quick unboxing of the Fifine A6T. Inside the box, you're gonna get your microphone with a shock mount. You get a pop filter, a boom arm and adapter. You get an eight foot USB-C to USB-A cable. You get a C clamp and you also get a user manual. To install this on your table, you're gonna take the desk clamp and you're gonna adjust the bottom so that it's thicker than your desk. Take the boom arm piece, slide it into place and twist the knob until it kind of locks into place. Now you're gonna grab your shock mount and you're gonna place it on the other end of this boom arm. And here's what it looks like all set up and clamped onto my desk. So let's take a look at the K651 first. There is a mute button right here on one side. When it's white, that means that you can talk. When it's red, that means that it's muted. This is a pretty cool design. I really love the way that these look. There's a button right here, which you can cycle through eight different colors that this has. I feel like this one is good quality. It's a good build. It has some heft to it. I wish they would have just been one cable to do the RGB plus the actual microphone function. Now looking at the A6T, this one feels very cheap. It's made out of like more of like a plastic build versus the other one. So on this microphone, there is a gain knob at the bottom. This one does not have a gain knob, so you can only adjust the volume inside of your computer. There's a mute button right here on top. If you tap that, RGB goes off, which means the microphone is muted. I will say the pop filter is rather cute with the red smiley face. This does have eight different lighting effects. As far as build quality, when it comes to both of these, I would say that this one is more superior uh, as far as build quality versus this plastic one they both use the same exact clamp arms so no difference there now let's go ahead and test them out i got both of the mics set up right in front of me and we're going to go ahead and do some sound tests now so right now i'm using a rode video micro yeah and this is what i use to film all of my youtube videos talking head and it's literally like right here out of the shot and the reason why i like this is because like if i'm making a youtube video i'm not going to be talking like this because you can't even really see my face and interact you don't get that same interaction so in mac you're going to go to settings same thing in windows you just go to your settings you then go to your audio settings and you're going to click on input this shows up as the Fifine microphone and immediately it's already showing input levels. Here is a silence of what the Rode Video Micro sounds like in my room with just the ambient sound. This is the Fifine K651 microphone. This is what the audio quality sounds like right now. My gain is set to negative six, negative 12. So if you notice, I have this pointed straight at me like this because this is the way that you speak into this microphone. If I were to move the mic like this, it's not gonna pick up my voice as well. Mute button's here, so if I tap. So this is a microphone test. Uh, I wanna say I am maybe about six inches away. Uh, this is up very closely if we're doing some like ASMR type of thing. I'm gonna be quiet to get room ambiance. Board test, so if I was 
typing away, playing games, I guess. So now this is the Fifine A6T quality. If you notice with this microphone, it picks up from the front of it, not from the top. Like the other one, you have the mute button right here. So now it's muted, you're not hearing it. You have a gain knob right here right now. I have the level set to be around negative six, negative 12. And this is the gain. If I go all the way up, it's probably distorted. I'm sorry, let me talk quieter. So this is the gain at full volume. About half volume seems about right to get to that negative six, negative 12. I am maybe five inches away. Let's do a ambient test of the room. And now we'll do a typing test. So if I was like gaming, doing my thing. Oh, 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 to the left, to the left. Watch them, watch them, they coming. So that's kind of like <laughs> what that would sound like. So now we're gonna try out my more professional, I guess, microphone. This microphone is a XLR. You have to have a interface in order to use this versus the Fafon microphones are USB and they don't require anything additional. Now we are using the Sterling Audio microphone, which is a condenser microphone, which uses XLR and an audio interface in order to power this up. This also requires phantom power. I'm about five inches away, same distance as I was with the other ones. And here is a ambient sound test. Now I'm backing away from the microphone a little bit. You obviously, with these type of microphones, you're gonna be up close on it. Closer, the better for these type of microphones. And yeah, this is just an audio test to see what this sounds like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and listen and compare all these and then give you my final result of what I think about all these microphones and which one I'm gonna keep. All right, Lego. All right, so after listening back to all three different takes of different microphones, what I noticed is there's very similar characteristics in audio quality. The A6T and the Sterling audio microphone had very similar characteristics, and I guess that's due to them both being condenser microphones. So now this is the Fifine A6T quality. Now we are using the Sterling Audio microphone, which is a condenser microphone. When it came to the Ampler Rocket, I think that this one sound a little bit more bassier to me. Again, this one is a dynamic microphone, so I'm guessing it's sharing that same dynamic microphone characteristics. This is the Fifine dynamic microphone uh, this is an audio test this is the Amplo rocket if you notice with this microphone it picks up from the front of it this also requires phantom power i'm about five inches away it really wasn't a significant difference to me let me know in the comments if you guys have a different opinion pros for both devices these are very simple to use you just plug and play select the input on your computer and you're all set ready to go price to performance ratio is going to be a pro here this can really get you by if you're just starting out con number one with the k651 Oh, that kind of rhymes. My first kind is gonna be the two cables. Fafon should have made it a way where this could be with one cable. There is no gain knob on this microphone and I would really love to see a gain knob. I wouldn't say it's a con, but it would be nice for a pop filter to be included with the K651 as well. So my first con with the Fifon A6T is the poor build quality. It just feels very cheap. It's made of like a hard plastic. The last con with this one is the RGB effect is not customizable. You cannot make this brighter or dimmer. It just kind of is what it is. And you can't even adjust to the certain theme color just to leave it on. It just cycles through the eight different preset modes. I would like to have been able to adjust the RGB effects or choose one to just stay on static to match my theme of my setup. I'm only gonna keep one of these and I think I'm gonna keep both. They're both mine now, so I can do what I want, all right? <laughs> If you're on a budget and you want the best bang for buck, I think that these five fine microphones will do you justice when it comes to content creation, doing voiceover work, or streaming. Talking Aesthetics Five Fine got you covered with their really dope RGB effects built into the microphones. I really love that, and I think it's a nice add-on to anybody's setup. I will leave links down in the description for both Five Fine microphones in case you guys want to pick one up. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. I hope you got some value. If you did, please don't forget to leave your boy a big thumbs up. Subscribe Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'm going to holla at y'all next week in my next video. Deuces.